But first of all, I want to tell you, it's amazing what you're doing and the ability to impact people with peace instead of violence and sustainability and love and calmness. Um, I don't have your same gift. I feel like I have um, spent my life emotionally, spiritually, mentally, physically trying to help people. Calmness is not my biggest gift. I try though, I meditate, you know, two to three hours a day, sometimes more. Um, I think I sleep in meditation actually. So I have read a lot of books, on, and, but I would love to learn even more from, from you. Um, but I think that the biggest thing is what you're doing for the world. Right now, you know, our environment's been sick for a long time because we haven't taken care of it. And for me, this is not new at all. Um, I feel like I'm here for that mission. That's the only reason I feel like I'm here. I actually probably feel lost in almost every area but that mission because it consumes me. Um, just the ability to clean things up and make things better and to take care of our earth and our world. Um, is so important, but I think one of the biggest things that I see is spirituality and the energy that we don't give the importance of trying to do the right thing and trying to live in peace and harmony. So I love what you're doing. And I just wanted to tell you, thank you. Um, I know you have a lot of gifts I don't have, but I have spent a lot of time trying from a scientific perspective, which does not give all the answers, as you know, but to try to help in different areas. Yeah, I think, yeah, what I feel the most important thing in life is to find freedom. And uh, freedom in any given moment, no matter what you are doing, what you are feeling. And uh, if we are not able to truly experience who we are as we are, we're not necessarily living our life at this very moment. So in a sense that uh, when I travel around, I feel no matter who I meet, and I feel a great deal of sadness because uh, everyone is struggling in a, every way you can think possibly. People are suffering. At the same time, it seems to me that we are all distracting ourselves and taking our life for granted. And uh, as I say to everyone, life is not a rehearsal. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, people are not aware that time is not going to pause for us. So very much involved in a contrived way, <laughs> unnatural way, it's like, a, you know, you are deceiving yourself. And there is no bigger enemy for us anywhere other than self-deception. Mm -hmm. So I have a feeling that uh, we need to communicate to bring some clarity so that everyone is able to truly embrace their true nature. What is embracing true nature? To embrace true nature is to be able to actualize full potential of our being. So there, I feel like we need to communicate. We must have an in-depth communication. So this universal free sanctuary is an excuse for me to have some way to relate to people so that we can have much deeper communication. This peace destination as such, nobody ever established since the beginning of civilization. And we have many religious sacred sites, such as Jerusalem, Bethlehem, Mecca, Medina, Ram Janam Bhumi for Hindu, both Gaya for Buddhist. But I found in 21st century, these are still territorial, not inclusive enough. At the same time, millennials and Gen Z are not necessarily interested in following any religious path or religious path, but they are struggling, they're trying to find a purpose. So I felt it's very important to have a, the most inclusive 
place for every race, every color, every creed, every gender, every believers and non-believers in life, so that people are all respected and honored and find a sanctuary where they take refuge. Of course, external sanctuary that I'm building on UNESCO World Heritage Site is a symbolic one. I would like to see the way I can empower and everybody find their sanctuary within. <laughs> That's why I'm here in the Passion Week in New York as well. Instead of in the Himalayas, in the monastery and meditating, I felt that I have to come and communicate. And I have to come to the level where they can understand so that I am able to embrace them and so that we can exchange something deeper. So today I'm traveling all over the world to ask all the world to be the stakeholder of this project. I have a vision. I'm needing it, but this project is not my project. Mm -hmm. This project is a project for entire humanity. So unless everyone makes this as a priority, and the peace will not be readily available for anyone. So that's why I'm chanting my mantra and saying, make peace more fashionable than war. Yeah. So I thought, okay, since that is my mantra, so maybe I have opportunity to have communication with fashion industry and people Absolutely. who love fashion so that maybe we can take everyone deeper what the real fashion is. Real fashion is to be able to find comfort in your natural way of being. Just because you dress something new clothes, you're not to become fashionable. You need to be very sophisticated to be able to be truly fashionable. To be sophisticated is to be able to be in the moment naturally. So without awareness of nowness, that is not possible. So how to achieve awareness of nowness? I have some experience, blessing to share. So since I thought maybe every way possible I can communicate and find ways to relate. I think this is my cup of tea. So, <laughs> so, yeah. so I you know here yeah, right now. This is wonderful because I, I, I feel like I'm not a fashion, you know, expert, um, but um, I feel like for me, I'm, I have something in common with you. I have a mission, like I said earlier, to, to really help in different areas that I can with the person that I am. Um, and to be able to touch Fashion Week is another area we can touch people. But um, I definitely, and Julia knows me, I, I have traveled not as much as you, but I've worked in 86 countries to try to help different areas. But I, I agree with you. There's, there's a lack of peace. There's, there's a lack of, I have to be candid. Like every day I look at myself and say, what could I have done differently? What could I do more because I really believe there's only and we may not share the same beliefs but I believe there's only one of each person and so you have to use your full potential every day that being said every day I miss my full potential so my goal is always to try the next day the next moment that I understand right because I do understand we don't understand time and we don't understand space or I don't I've studied it I've been to school for so many years in so many different areas but I still don't feel like I have a firm understanding. Um, I never say I understand something I don't. So I don't feel like I have this. I feel like one of the things that's missed in my life is the ability to find peace in chaotic situations. So I try my best. And then also to try to achieve the most I can to help others because it's not about me. It really isn't. And I, I talk a little bit, a lot about actually, we share our energy you know, like I said, I don't know if you were there, but like with a leaf on a tree, like we're all part of each other. Um, I'd love to help with what you're doing. I don't have a ton of influence. I do have some because of what I've done. And I think we will continue as a company with the gentlemen and the women that are in this room to help more people because I, I feel this shift. So with all these bad things that we've experienced, which I feel like we're just... They were always here, but now it's come, it's, it's more in our, you know, we're, we're more exposed to it. If we can work together with the right people that understand, um, that have the same purpose of peace and communication, 
and of trying to be and achieve our best so that we can help each other in this world that we're in right now. But I, I am certain you have a much stronger, better ability than me to understand spiritually things that I probably don't have the level of understanding like you do. But I will tell you, I try my best daily to achieve that. So if we can work together um, on this mission. That's my dream. It's, it's, I don't feel like I was here to really do anything but what I'm doing right now, uh, which is not to be a scientist. It's not to be a woman of empowerment. It's really just to bring solutions, you know, to the world. So I, I would love to, to help in any way I can. Well, that's very kind. You know, it'd be honored to have you as partner to take the journey of life together. To me, there is no one who is right. No one who is not right to be my partner. And to me, everyone is the right candidate, you know, for me to work with. And I, you know, in one I see, everyone is capable of the dancing with me, as long as I'm willing to embrace them as they are. So I'm not good at uh, movements, but I think <laughs> there's so many ways to dance. So, and I'd like to you know, take you as my partner and would like to work together. And because as long as we live, you know, whatever we have, we must share. Mm -hmm. And uh, once we are able to share what we have, I think we will find a purpose. We will find a reason to celebrate together. So I'm absolutely delighted to, you know, accept your offer and uh, very much look forward to sharing what I experience. So it's your right. Not everybody is capable of. Even today, gurus and new age teachers are many out there in the spiritual supermarket and they are all spiritual materialistic. <coughs> involved in transactional and for ego and for mm -hmm. very, very limited purposes, is misleading. Mm -hmm. So here we have the responsibility to inspire and then live our life in a such a way that we will not regret when we have to end our last breath. And actually how smart we are and uh, can be defined when we have to face the last moment whether we are feeling completely content of being the way we have been, or we are regretful and sad and fearful from leaving this body when it is disintegrated. So, you know, as far as I'm concerned, you know, whatever I experience right now, uh, wholeheartedly, if I don't share, and this will be disintegrated and this will be useless. You know, one day and nobody is going to benefit. So to sharing is to be, is a celebration of life. Sharing is to enjoy the feast. You know, sharing is to see the beauty of life. So it's not so much that I'm doing a favor to anyone else, but rather I'm experiencing my own richness of life. So of course, now we have to define that. How? We can experience that. So this, as I'm telling you there, that we need to have in-depth conversation for weeks to truly sit down and find a conducive environment where we are truly committed and learning. Otherwise, as we say, some fruits looks ripe from the outside, but inside is not ripe. Mm -hmm. so there are many of these. So for us, not to be like that, we have to experience it. We have to live in a real life. Right? So to do that, I think uh, there's experiential and a luminous lineage that I feel like I experience and I am empowered, inherited. So I think this is what, uh, you know, as we were discussing earlier, now today, many in a high net worth individuals, they have somehow found me, you know, here and there, requesting, would you please, you know, lead us 
in a retreat, and you know, we would like, really want to learn and we want to experience it. And so that's, I found it sincere. So maybe I said, okay, and then let's do something. And uh, as we are embarking on establishing universal peace sanctuary, maybe everybody can do something and uh, towards that as they're leaving legacy. And at the same time, maybe I can do something <clears throat> to all of them who are interested in participating. I personally don't need anything because uh, I'm in a level place where I feel quite uh, free and and uh, complete. And there's no interest and in, uh, I realize there's no need to accumulate anything for myself. And now is the time where maybe I will have a little bit impact in their lives if I am able to penetrate in their lives to see how we can, you know, mutually you know, understand the real benefit of being human in a true sense. So I'm very happy that we are here today. Thank you. I'm too. I I, I love everything <coughs> you just said. I, I don't know, like um I actually have a lot of more self-actualization I, I have to accomplish in my life. Um, I've never looked at life as far as me being happy, to be honest. I um, have always looked at life, what can I do to, um, that this mission is to help people. So I, I know personally I need to work on um, on feeling like I'm here to make myself happy. But I will say I do have something in common as far as the fact that I feel like if I were to die tomorrow, I have lived a life to the best of my ability to for my mission to try to help in all the ways that I can. I, I experienced um, sickness at a very young age and have been taught repetitively lessons that have, have brought me back to understanding that this is the present. This is each day I have as a gift, and I have to live it to the best uh, of my ability. The money, the um, the power, the influence for me, if it's not used to help others, then it's irrelevant. So I do I do feel like um, I can help, and I'm and it would be an honor to to dance to to spend time i'm not a great dancer <laughs> but yes, you are. No, i sure. do love to dance i i do love to dance i love to live i do love to live life but i do tell i will tell you that the things you're talking about for me are much more important than my um personal i don't know how i say this like you can only buy so many dresses so much jewelry so many houses so many cars that's never been my thing um i think i was fortunate enough to be brought up in a small farming town where we were just outside in nature all the time. So what you're trying to develop, I think would be phenomenal because I do agree with you. There's, there's not a territory, you know, with all the political debates, I really don't get in the middle of any of them. I'm not a, I'm just being very honest with you. I'm not a political person. I may have met a lot of prime ministers and presidents and people of, of influence like that, but I'm not, uh, that's not where I'm that that's not why I'm here so to be able to develop a center that would help people I think is so needed because you you're right there's a lot of gurus right now that and I'm not putting anyone down at all but if their mission is to get attention for their own need instead of to really find peace and to really help this world and to help each person then it's wasted including mine if that's my mission, to be famous or to, to get attention, then I've wasted mine as well. I think one of the reasons I connect with Yulia is she, I believe she's the same way. Um, so thank you for bringing us together. Actualize, you know, the benefit. All right, thank you so much. Thank you so much.